And the tools that you're learning with muscle activation techniques right now is how to assess which ones have altered communication pathways. Because it's not about what you can do, it's about what you can't do. I would say, I don't care what you can do because it's what you can't do that's breaking you down. And what you can't do, that's what we wanna find out. And the greatest thing about it is the range of motion assessment is the most important tool that you have as an MAT practitioner because it tells you what you can't do. Ooh, I can't rotate my head to the right. That means the muscles that rotate your head to the right aren't contracting effectively. And so we need to look at the muscles that actually create right cervical and capital rotation and test and treat the muscles that can't do it. And all of a sudden it's like, ooh, I can rotate my head to the right. As long as there's not a structural change that's limiting the, the motion. But that idea, muscles move bones. And muscles hold bones in proper alignment. So if muscles aren't contracting efficiently, they can't do their job to stabilize joints and protect you from injury, and they can't move bones. So when muscles can't contract effectively, it will show up as a limitation in range of motion.